The Toyota Corolla, Japanese, Hepburn, Toyota Corolla, is a series of compact cars, formerly subcompact, manufactured and marketed globally by the Japanese automaker Toyota Motor Corporation. Introduced in 1966, the Corolla was the best-selling car worldwide by 1974 and has been one of the best-selling cars in the world since then. In 1997, the Corolla became the best-selling nameplate in the world, surpassing the Volkswagen Beetle. One, Toyota reached the milestone of 50 million Corollas sold over 12 generations in 2021. Two, the name Corolla is part of Toyota's naming tradition of using names derived from the Toyota crown for sedans, with Corolla Latin for small crown. Three, the Corolla has always been exclusive in Japan to Toyota Corolla store locations and manufactured in Japan with a twin called the Toyota Sprinter until 2000. From 2006 to 2018 in Japan and much of the world, and from 2018 to 2020 in Taiwan, the hatchback companion had been called the Toyota Oris. Early models were mostly rear-wheel drive, while later models have been front-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive versions have also been produced, and it has undergone several major redesigns. The Corolla's traditional competitors have been the Nissan Sunny, introduced the same year as the Corolla in Japan and the later Nissan Sentra, Nissan Silphy, Honda Civic and Mitsubishi Lancer. The Corolla's chassis designation code is E, as described in Toyota's chassis and engine codes. Production locations. Countries and territories where the Toyota Corolla has been produced. Red indicates Japan. Blue indicates countries where the Corolla is currently produced, and green indicates countries where the Corolla was formerly produced. Corollas are manufactured in Japan at the original Takaaka plant built in 1966. Various production facilities have been built in Brazil, in Dayatuba, Sao Paulo, Canada, Cambridge, Ontario, China, Tianjin, Pakistan, Karachi, South Africa, Durban, Taiwan, Thailand, Vietnam, Turkey, and United Kingdom, Derbyshire. Production or assembly has previously been carried out in Australia, Victoria, India, Bangalore, Indonesia, Jakarta, Malaysia, New Zealand, Thames, the Philippines, Santa Rosa, Laguna, and Venezuela. Production in the United States, at Nummy in Fremont, California, ended in March 2010. 4. Production resumed the following year after the Toyota Motor Manufacturing Mississippi plant was opened in November 2011 in Blue Springs, Mississippi. 5. First Generation, E10, 1966. Main article, Toyota Corolla, E10. First Generation, Front. First Generation, Rear. The first generation Corolla was introduced in November 1966 with the new 1,100 cubic centimeters K pushrod engine. The Corolla Sprinter was introduced as the fastback version in 1968, and exclusive to a Toyota Japan dealership retail outlet called Toyota Auto Store. In May 1970, the E20 was restyled with a more rounded body. The now mutually exclusive Corolla and Sprinter names were used to differentiate between two slightly different treatments of sheet metal and trim. The Corolla Levin and Sprinter Trueno names were introduced as the enhanced performance version of the Corolla and Sprinter respectively when a double overhead camshaft version of the 2T engine was introduced in March 1972, TE27. In September 1970, the 1,400 cubic centimeters T and 1,600 cubic centimeters 2T OHV engines were added to the range, 6. In Australia, only the 1.2L engine, 3K, Powered two-door KE20 was available as a sedan and wagon-slash-panel van. The brakes were single-system with no booster, solid discs on the front and rear drums. Front sway bar but no rear sway bar. Parts are not compatible with later models. In New Zealand, the four-door KE20 was available. Most models stopped production in July 1974 but the KE26 wagon and van were still marketed in Japan alongside the new 30 series, until production finally ended in May 1978. Third generation, E30, E40, E50, E60, 1974. Main article, Toyota Corolla, E30. Third generation sedan. Third generation liftback. April 1974 brought rounder, bigger and heavier Corollas and Sprinters. The range was rounded out with the addition of a two-door liftback. The Corollas were given E30 codes while the Sprinters were given E40 codes. 
A facelift in March 1976 saw most Corolla E30 models replaced by equivalent E50 models and most Sprinter E40 models were replaced by equivalent E60 models. The E30 Corolla was fitted with retracting front seat belts. In Australia, the KE3X slash KE5X was available as four-door sedan, KE30 slash KE55, two-door sedan, KE30, two-door hardtop coupe, KE35 slash KE55, two-door panel van, KE36 slash KE38, four-door wagon, KE36 slash KE38, and a two-door liftback, KE50 slash KE55. All KE3X models had 3K engines and K44 speed manual, K55 speed manual, 2 speed automatic or 3 speed automatic gearbox. Sprinters were not available. The KE5X models 4K engines. The KE55 was 50 kg heavier due to the addition of side impact protection in the doors, but due to a change in the body metal and seam sealing they are prone to rust. Later KE55S also used plastic ended bumper bars as opposed to the all chrome bumpers of the previous models, but included a rear sway bar for the first time. Fourth generation, E70, 1979. Main article, Toyota Corolla, E70. Fourth generation sedan. Fourth generation station wagon. A major restyle in March 1979, 7, brought a square edge design. The Corollas had a simpler treatment of the grille headlights and tail lights while the Sprinter used a slightly more complex, sculptured treatment. The new A-Series engines were added to the range as a running change. This was the last model to use the K-Hickam and T-Series engines. Fuel injection was introduced as an extra cost option on Japanese market vehicles. The wagon and van continued to be made until June 1987 after the rest of the range was replaced by the E-80 generation. Fifth generation, E-80, 1983. Main article, Toyota Corolla, E80, 5th generation sedan, 5th generation hatchback. A sloping front bonnet and a contemporary sharp-edged, no-frills style was brought in during May 1983. The new 1839 cubic centimeters 1C diesel engine was added to the range with the E80 series. From 1985, rebadged E80 Sprinters were sold in the US as the 5th generation Chevrolet Nova. Fuel injection was introduced as an extra cost option internationally. Most models now used the front-wheel drive layout except the AE85 and AE86, which were to be the last Corollas offered in the rear-wheel drive or FR layout. The AE85 and AE86 chassis codes were also used for the Sprinter, including the Sprinter Trueno. The Sprinter was nearly identical to the Corolla, differing only by minor body styling changes such as pop-up headlights. This generation was made until 1990 in Venezuela, 8. A somewhat more rounded and aerodynamic style was used for the E90 introduced in May 1987. Overall this generation has a more refined feel than older Corollas and other older subcompacts. Most models were now front-wheel drive, along with a few AWD all-track models. Many engines were used on a wide array of trim levels and models, ranging from the 1.3-liter 2E to the 123 kilowatts. 165 horsepower, supercharged 4AGZE. In the US, the E90 Sprinter was built and sold as both the Toyota Sprinter and the Geo Prism. In Australia, the E90 Corolla was built and sold as both the Toyota Corolla and the Holden Nova. In South Africa, this generation continued to be built until August 2006, 9. 7th generation, E100, 1991. Main article, Toyota Corolla, E100. 7th generation sedan, 7th generation hatchback. In June 1991, Corollas received a redesign to be larger, heavier, and have the completely rounded, aerodynamic shape of the 1990s. In the United States, the somewhat larger Corolla was now in the compact class, rather than subcompact, and the coupe was still available in some markets, known as the AE101 Corolla 11. Carburetors were mostly retired with this generation. 8th Generation, E110, 1995. Main article, Toyota Corolla, E110. Production of the E110 Corolla started in May 1995. The design of the car was slightly altered throughout but retained a look similar to that of the E100. In 1998, for the first time, some non-Japanese Corollas received the new 1ZZ FE engine, citation needed, the 1ZZ FE engine had an aluminum engine block and aluminum cylinder heads, 
which made models powered by this motor lighter than versions powered by a series engines which had cast iron blocks with aluminium heads. The model range began to change as Toyota decided styling differences would improve sales in different markets. This generation was delayed in North America until mid-1997, U.S. 1998 model year, where it had unique front and rear styling, citation needed, Europe and Australasia received versions of their own as well. In Pakistan, this model was halted in November 1998, while production was closed in March 2002. Eighth-generation sedan, Japan, Asia and South America. Eighth-generation liftback, Europe and Australasia. Eighth-generation sedan, North America. Ninth-generation, E120, E130, 2000. Main article, Toyota Corolla, E120. In August 2000, the E129 generation Corolla was introduced in Japan, with edgier styling and more technology to bring the nameplate into the 21st century. This version was sold in Japan, Australasia, Europe and the Middle East. In mid-2001, the E120 Corolla Altus was released. It had a refreshed look and was slightly longer and wider than the E120 for other markets, but with similar body panels and interior. The Altus was sold in Southeast Asia, India, and Taiwan. India received a detuned version of the 1ZZ FE and was comparatively slower than its rivals. The North American release was delayed until March 2002, for the 2003 model year. The E130 was sold in North America from 2003 to 2008. It had similar look to the Corolla Altus sold in Southeast Asia. The E120 continued in parallel in separate markets to the E130. The station wagon model is called the Corolla Fielder in Japan. Production in Japan ended in January 2007, for Corolla Runks and Alex, 10, but production in North America continued until October 2007, citation needed. Production continued in China as the Corolla EX until February 2017.